r slash ask reddit. What's a super genius way to hide something in your house? If it's light and small. I split some of the seams on the side bottom of blackout drapes and stitched in a pocket and velcro. It's pretty much invisible. And I doubt people robbing the house want to disturb the drapes. I use it to stash cash. For larger stuff. I have a wood fireplace. So we have decorative wood sitting next to it. I split a log. Hollowed it out a bit with a drill use it to hide a bunch of spare keys. Safe keys. Etc. I made these things while I was recovering from an injury and super bored. On the positive side. I think nobody will look in my places. On a negative side if there's ever a fire the neighbors will think I'm insane when I save a blackout drape and a log. That works until a house sitter decides to use the fireplace. I've always been a fan of drilling a vertical hole in the top of door with a spade bit and dropping a film canister in. Hardest part is finding a film canister. Edit. It gives me hope that so many people are concerned enough about the availability of film canisters that they're offering to send them to me. And showing me where I can get them. You're wonderful people. That being said. My comment was completely facetious. Use a mini M&M &M tube. In the summer. Winter jacket pockets. My favorite day is when it's cold enough to put on your winter jacket for the first time and you find some bounty. Usually change. A Ricola. Or a ticket stub. I like to leave myself a couple bucks in my coat pockets when I put them away in the spring. So when it gets cold again. I get a present. I used to think I could hide my weed from my mom in the towel in the bass drum of my drumset. One day I reached in and found a note instead. It said not as smart as you think you are. So not that way. If she's not a drummer. She wouldn't understand the towel and would assume it was nonsense you made up to hide stuff. If she was a drummer. She definitely had that thought before about it being a good hiding place because it seems so innocuous. I would have thought that was a genius way to hide stuff but the older I get the more I understand how my own mom's brain works. I think you all seem to be missing the fact that this is a mother. She has probably spent a few decades picking up after you. She sees a crumpled or rolled up towel. She is going to want to wash it. I just hid something inside a jar. Put a toilet paper tube in the middle. Then fill the sides with dog food biscuits. The odd part was. He was hiding dog food biscuits. Also odd. He has no dog. False bottom to your cat's litter box. Nobody's gonna dig through cat hit to look for your stuff. Former probation officer here. I had someone on supervision that had a complaint called in. So had to go check it out. Never could find anything. Then I noticed a litter box. He didn't list any pets on his paperwork. I asked where the cat was. He said the cat is always hiding. I gave him that. My girlfriend had a cat that would disappear whenever someone came over. But I was with a different officer that day. And he said he is highly allergic to cats and felt nothing. Three pounds of weed was vacuum sealed and under the cat litter. There was no cat. Also some benzos. So just make sure you also have a cat. Become a hoarder. Fill your house with every piece of random junk you come across. Anything you own will become hidden. When I was a teenager I got my hands on a Playboy magazine. This was just before we had internet at home, which changed the game of course. My mom knew I had it but I was just old enough where she decided to tolerate a few boobs. Still. In the conversation we had about it. She bet that if I was trying to hide a magazine from her. She would be able to find it. I accepted her challenge and told her to give me a little while to come up with hiding place. I had a chair with a cushion made of foam with a fabric cover. Like a typical couch cushion. I removed the fabric cover and cut a slit into the foam. Inserting the magazine in the middle of the cushion. I then turned the cushion around so that the slit was on the inside and couldn't be seen if you unzipped it. I put the foam back in the cushion and put it back on the chair. Couldn't feel anything sitting on it. My mom searched for a good while and could not find it. I think even if someone tore your house up completely they likely wouldn't take the foam out of the couch cushions and carefully inspect it from all sides. Thieves don't care about your hit, if they think you have something they want, egg they think you keep large amounts of cash drugs etc in your house, they'll just slash your cushions lounges etc looking for it. 
a common thief isn't going to go through as much effort as say. A gang member who suspects you have cash drugs and is hunting for it. Though in the end I suspect this thread is more for hiding things from notice rather than hiding things from someone who knows it's there. Unscrew the base of a lamp. Like the entire base and put what you want to hide inside the base. Then screw the base back on. When was the last time you or anyone you know has completely dissembled a lamp? Friend of mine. Ex-criminal. Had that problem when police raided his house. The gun he owned was not legal so he threw it in a pot full of beans. While they were on a stew. Cooking. He saved his ass. Sorry for bad English though. Did he still eat the stew? Of course he did. Leftover gun. Throw it in baby. You've got a stew going. I have a barbasol shaving can that unscrews from the bottom. Similar to where Newman kept the Dino DNA in Jurassic Park. Same but it's a carpet shampoo can. Had a search warrant or two executed on my house back in my younger days and the cops didn't find a thing. But I had two bottles of this carpet shampoo and not a lick of carpet in the whole house. This would be a perfect revelation on any detective show. Next question. What are the super genius passwords to your bank accounts? PRSSWORD. If you want to be really tricky, add a 1 to the end. No one will ever guess it. My boyfriend is tall. Anything I don't want him to see goes at the back of the lowest shelf. And whatever he doesn't want you to see is at the back of the highest shelf. Happy hunting. Insider Homes and Watson DVD case. It will never be opened. Definitely not worth stealing. Only risk is someone possibly decides to incinerate it. Surely a thief would be suspicious that someone actually owns a copy of Holmes and Watson and check it immediately. Stick a note on the front. Happy birthday. Uncle Bernie. They'll understand. If it's flat. Money. In books. You can repurpose empty food and cleaner containers to hide bigger objects. Only flat things? Whatever happened to cutting out the inside of a book in the shape of a rock hammer? I never understood why he took that risk. Like the warden was super religious. What if he randomly decided to look inside Andy's bible? He'd be ducked. Should've put the rock hammer in the tunnel he was making. At least then. If he gets caught. He gets caught. Put it wherever you keep losing your keys. If you lose your keys often put them in the fridge with your lunch. Can't leave without keys and if you forget lunch now you got keys and a lunch. Have misplaced my keys on more than one occasion. I have one of those front doors that lock from the inside using a key, no key, no get out of house. Inside of trophies. Mine are all hollow. That would require being good at something. Nah. You only have to be good at buying trophies. Bring in 10,000 more identical ones. Edit holy crap. Such a little comment and 9,000 upvotes. Soon you'll be able to hide your upvote amongst 10,000 others. If it's drugs this might be a problem. You can never find my brick of cocaine in this here pile of cocaine bricks. Fake electrical outlet. Looks like a regular outlet but has no wiring. You can keep a small wad of cash or anything in similar size. You know. I have an electrical socket in my house that doesn't work, just one. I'm going to check it tonight. Maybe I have a secret gift from the previous owners. Edit. No cash, it's just ducked. Thanks for the heads up on the circuit breaker. Everyone. Didn't die. Make sure you still turn off the breaker that goes to your outlets. There's a chance the outlet has just gone bad. But the wiring leading into it will still be live. Additionally. If you're going through the trouble anyway. Stop by a hardware store and pick up a new outlet to replace the old one. My ex hid wads of $100 S in the mouth of a VCR. I had an encyclopedia set that no one else ever messed with. I used to hide money in the M book on the money page. Kind of obvious I know. But no one ever found it. I keep my LSD in my bible in the book of revelations. In the pockets of hanging clothes in the closet. This is why interesting finds are discovered on the racks of thrift shops every now and then. Only on the ones the employees didn't check. And once they've had a good find and slipped it in their pocket. They will check them all. I hid my stuff in my guitar amp's back cavity. 
Same can apply for any speaker box. Cops search amp cavities if you're transporting and get pulled over. For your information allegedly. Allegedly. Treat it as being super extra important so you hide it in a super extra important place in the house. Then tell yourself you'll always remember where it is because it's in that super extra important place. In my experience. You'll never find it again. I can't tell you how much hit I've lost due to this exact logic. I convinced myself I was going insane because I remember putting away some flat stack boxes, the free small flat rate boxes that USPS will ship to you, in a location that was supposed to be perfect since it's exactly where I would go if I needed to ship something. Never found them a week later when I needed to ship something. I really thought I was going crazy. I ordered another set from USPS and they're in my laundry room right now. But I've never found the first set in the 9 months since then. Maybe I never will. Maybe I will when I move out. Secret rooms go in the basement along the perimeter completely underground. If you put a secret room upstairs. The rest of the house won't make physical sense to the astute observer. Read this as what's a super genius way to hide in your house and was convinced op was wanting to work on their hide and seek game. Coming. Ready or not. Asterisk. Title. Of. My. Sex. Tape. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Reddit Queen for the best daily content.